So over here, you can see that I got three different scenes right here. Not three different panels, but three different scenes, as you can see right here. These are separate scenes. So if I were to go around and press the play button, then you can see that it changes from one scene to uh, another scene easily right here. So what you can do is when you're working around with different scenes, you can add in transition in between scenes as well um, uh, to make it more, let's say, uh, interesting to look at as well. So to do that, you can select out a scene right here and then you can see that once I select it on the top, you can click on this little button right here which says new transition. So if I were to click on this, there you go. This is the transition as you can see. And I can go around the resize out the transition just by clicking and dragging right here. And what the transition does is if I were to press the play button, you can see that it's kind of like a fade right here. So instead of jumping straight into another uh, scene, it, it just cross fades right there. You can also add in transition by right, -click, right clicking and by adding in transition right here, or you can go to storyboard and click on add transition as well. And this is what you have. So you can go around, resize this right here and so forth that you can see. So now if I were to go around and click this, you can go around onto panel and over here you can see transition settings from over here as well. So you can resize the transition uh, that is change the duration of the transition by clicking and dragging direct, uh, it directly over here. Or you can go around right here and then change this to let's say for example a 0.15 and so forth and change the duration of the transition just, just like this as well. So another thing that you can do is you can go around from dissolve to as wipe which allows you to actually uh, let's say if I were to play this you can see it's more like a wipe right, wipe right here. So let me just go around right here and press the play button and it's a wipe. You can go around and change the direction of the wipe as well, as you can see. So if I were to press the play button, you can see that the direction of the wipe changes now. You can go around and here you can see that there's clock wipe over here as well. So press the play button and there's the clock wipe. And you can go around and slide over here as well. And there are different things like slide in, slide out, and you can work around with the direction as well. So if I were to go around and press the play button, you can see that it slides out right there. And that is how you can add in transition inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.